New details at 6 tonight. Way 31 spoke with a man who was on Wheeler Lake who saw rescue crews bringing in the body. The search for a missing boater was entering its second day before a fisherman spotted the body of Derek Lane earlier this morning. He saw it on the Athens side of Wheeler Lake. Way 31 Sierra Phillips has been at the lake all day talking with people about what happened. This morning, it didn't take long for crews to say the search was over after a fisherman found the body of Derek Lane. Now, I talked to two people today. One man who says he's the fisherman who found the body, and another man who says he hopes this just brings the family closure. They come pulling up, the police and everybody. All of a sudden, they had a body bag. Joseph McAbbey told me he watched as crews searched for the body of 56 year old Derek Lane. Two days, two days now. Lane either jumped or fell into Wheeler Lake Tuesday night and never resurfaced. Officials searched starting Wednesday morning. Thursday morning, McAbby says he saw the end of that search as Lane's body was taken to shore. I told him, praise God and thank you, Jesus, for finding that body. Rescue crews say it was a fisherman who found the body. I talked with that man. Raymond Daughtry says he was the one to first spot the body in the water. I ruined my day, you know, but uh, everything worked out for the best. Both Daughtry and McGabby told me they're just glad the search is over. The family can uh, go ahead and have closure, you know, so that's, and that was a good thing. They wanted to find that body just so the family could have some peace. In Limestone County, Sierra Phillips, Way 31 News. Tonight, we are still waiting to learn what led up to Lane's.